arrive at a Federal Signal Thunderbolt 1000T in Venadocio, Ohio. Thunderbolt 1000T fans with me. We are both recording a video of the siren. All right, short but sweet test right there. All right, that's gonna do it for this live stream. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I look forward to me and Thunderbolt 1000T fans video of the sound later today. All right, we gotta head on off to Kettering now. All right, Thunderbolt 1000T fan and I are in Kettering now, we made it down to Kettering. We're at one of the American Signal RM-127s. This is the one off of Stroop Road and Dogwood Way, something, I forget the name for that street. But we're also close to Stonebridge Avenue, Stonebridge Road, whatever. This is on the west side of town.
That was loud. I think this tops the T128, I'd say, at least a little bit in terms of loudness. Now, does it top the 4.5? I'm not too sure about that. I'd say it was about on par with the 4.5.
Yeah, so I would mean... Maybe just a touch louder. It was very similar in loudness to the, to the 1000. Yeah, I felt that thing rattle my chest. <laughs> um, yeah, what was I going to say? And my memory lost it. It actually still Good. says I have like... I think it's still set up at the end there. It said I think I had like... Four or five minutes left. Oh, nice. Uh, That's good. Um, I would say this also is a bit louder than the 1000T we were at earlier today in Venedosia. Yeah. I actually forgot just how loud this thing is. Yeah. These things are definitely really loud. Alright, that's it for this live stream. So, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and look forward to me and Thunderbolt 1000T fans video of the siren later today. Federal sign and signal Thunderbolt 1000 with an early A2 series 5M blower in downtown Newark, Ohio. I'm here with Thunderbolt 1000 T fan. He's recording a video of this siren.
hear some bells going off in the distance, probably coming from this courthouse right here. But alrighty, it went off, and it went off on time. Wasn't super loud. I took off my hearing protection through right soon after it first went off. Yeah, fortunately the rotator is still broken, but I, it was decently punchy. I will give it that. Uh, yeah, and I'm thinking because it is so high mounted, it wasn't. I have a suspicion it might have an air leak as well. That did not seem that loud. I mean, it no, was it didn't. M, it's supposed to be pretty freaking loud. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It could also just be because of how high mounted it is. Yeah, it's possible like the buildings are blocking off some of the sound because because the the four five I went to uh, two weeks ago and also the RM127 Kettering has this beat. Oh heck, I th I think even the Venadosia 1000T has this thing beat. <laughs> Now, as for the, uh, it's probably about as loud, maybe a little louder than the Napoleon Bolt, the sick one. But yeah, well, that's going to do it for this live stream. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and look forward to Thunderbolt 1000 T fans video of the siren on his YouTube channel later today. All right, we are live at a Federal Signal Model 5 in Quincy, Ohio. You can see this thing is really low mounted. So I imagine it's gonna be really loud. We're here with Thunderbolt 1000 T fan. We're both recording a video of the siren.
Yeah. It's cool how it came as soon as the siren finished winding up. I think I'm gonna include this in my video just for all the whale fan enthusiasts out there. All right. <clears throat> that about does it for this live stream. The thing went off and it was pretty loud, although I wouldn't say it wasn't nearly as loud as a Thunderbolt or an RM127, but still pretty loud, I'd say. Yep, but like I said, cool how managed to capture a train passing by as soon as it finished winding down. So that's for all you rail fan, rail enthusiasts out there. So yeah, yep, that's going to do it for this live stream. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Look forward to me and Thunderbolt 1000 T fans video of this siren, both on both of our YouTube video, YouTube channels, which are Thunderbolt 1000 T fan and Tommy's Aviation and Sirens later today. All right, we are live at a Wheelan WPS 4004 in Marion, Marion County, Marion, Ohio. This one is on the southern side of the city. It's just a little way south of downtown, off of Marion Waldo Road. Located between Custom Professional Accounting and Marion County Children's Services. Here with Connor Henderson from Thunderbolt 1000 T fan. We're both recording a video of this siren. Stick my hearing protection on.
tests really are fucking screwy. <laughs> yeah. Although I was surprised that this thing has a this thing has 560. This thing actually has a uh, ESC 2020. I was thinking all those signs would have a digital. All the Wheelands have a digital ESC 64, but guess not. This one has a uh, ESC 2020 at 560. Yeah. yeah. After this, I don't know if I'm gonna do Marion again. Yeah. And I heard uh, the uh, digital ones going off in the background from the north. And also them doing voice in the north, but this siren went off for like what five seconds? Yeah, I almost I almost think there's just a bad radio here. Yeah. Yeah, that was like Dublin. <laughs> except except for the fact that the voice wasn't working properly. This was essentially a Dublin test, but without a working voice. Yeah. Kind of underwhelming, but eh. Oh well. We were originally gonna yeah, it, it still went off, although even though it only went off for a few seconds. We were originally going to go to a Model 5, which was a bit ways to the southwest. However, uh, we received word that that thing is inactive. Actually, though, I hit my GoPro at a tree, or like a bush, right under the fire station, because I was curious to know whether or not it was active. So, yeah. And to be fair, I'm not even sure if I want to bother posting my video of this to uh, my YouTube channel. So yeah, well, yep, that's going to about do it for this live stream. So yep, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah. Oh man, that was sudden. It's raining, it's raining, it's raining, it's raining. Oh man. I gotta try to fix my tripod. Oh man, this thing, this rain's coming down hard. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> my goodness. Okay. Hmm. Man, that, this rain was so sudden. It's really coming down. This thing never went off. <laughs> camera's a little, a little wet. I don't think this thing is water resistant, so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 come back.
That was sudden. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video. I haven't given up just yet though. Alright, we are live at a Wheelin WPS 2750 in Dublin, Ohio. This siren is located at Lewin Farms Park off of Tuttle Road, nearby France Road. This thing more than likely has an ESC 2020 controller. I would like to Bet and assume is the controller box. I think that's the uh, ESC864 box, either, either digital or an analog. Probably analog though, since the 2750. But yeah.
hear Franklin County sirens going off in the background, in the distance. Okay, so I went off and I got Franklin County ambience in the background. All right, I didn't even get to finish what I was trying to say because the siren already started to do voice. Yeah, Dublin seems to start their test right at 12 at the dot. All right, well, anyway, um, as I undo my uh, tripod here, Like most of Dublin's sirens that have been updated, and this is true for Franklin County as well, that were updated to, you know, ESC 2020 or ESC 2030 controllers, they kept the original uh, ESC 864 cabinet. Now, and pretty sure that's the case with this siren. And so, yeah. Yeah. I'm just here by myself today. So yeah, I'm just here, here by myself recording this siren solo. And the reason why I'm keeping it local is because later today, in probably like an hour or two, I'm going to be leaving to go to Pennsylvania for a uh, uh, bit of a vacation. So I'll be there for a few days and stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, I think that is all I, all I have to say. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and look forward to my video of this siren up, in, up on, my, on my YouTube channel, Tom, Tommy's Aviation and Sirens, later today.
Broken blower. Boo. Not very loud because of that. Yep. Broken blower. I feel like since the blower was broken on this, Marseilles and McCutcheonville, I'm under the impression that the one in Harpster is broken too, the blower. This seems like maybe they just haven't been maintaining these things. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the 1000 Harpster's blower is broken as well. Oh yeah. I will say, I'm not entirely sure whether or not I want to post my video to my channel. I will, if I don't, then I'll probably like, you know, post the live stream in my upcoming BTS. But, yeah, alright, there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and yeah. Uh, we'll be going to Allen and Paulding, most likely, uh, today, so yeah, look forward to those iron test as well. Yep. We'll see you guys later. The activated again. It's going off again. What the heck? They hit a button or if this is a malfunction or what. Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, we were getting ready to, uh, we were packing up, getting ready to head over to Allen County, Delphos, when this thing just suddenly fired up again. This is so weird. Where's the siren? There it is. Still not very loud.
Okay, it's shutting off. I think that was a shorter uh, alert this time around. Okay, now I think we're gonna head over to Augalize County, go to Delphos. All right, I am live at a Federal Signal Thunderbolt 1003 in Delphos, Ohio. This is the one at the St. John's Annex here with Thunderbolt 1000 T fan. We're both recording a video of the siren. immediately. All right, that was loud. <laughs> sweet, man. Only went off for about a minute, but yep, very sweet test. I heard the uh, Wheelin, I think Wheelin WPS 2803, if I remember correctly, doing voice after the Thunderbolt wind down. And I heard a 2001, I think, in the background as well. Yeah, definitely really like the ambience from this city of Delphos. As can tell from the two I think ambient videos of this town this city those sirens going off for their tests the monthly tests all right well that's gonna do it for this live stream so thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed and we will see you guys all in potting at a 
on Lamont Road near Orange Avenue and Interstate 95. This siren is part of the Fort St. Lucie siren system in Florida. And this will be my first siren recording from me with me living down in Florida for college. As you can see, this is a newer siren. Look at the control box. See how low it is. Now mounted, it is off the ground or off the pole. Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. I'm getting a bunch of like There it goes. It's gonna do the voice test first and then it'll do I think a full three minute alert. Wow, that was very distorted. <laughs> you could barely hear the words. I was stepping over there, I got, I was getting like, quilled I guess, not by a porcupine, by like a spiny plant or like a spiky plant or something. Oh my gosh, you can barely hear the, can barely hear the voice message. Yep, 4004. Welcome to the stream, Yusef Abdullah. I may have butchered that pronunciation, so if I did, my apologies in advance for that.
could do like eight voice notes just and then it does the alert. What's the signal? This is only a test, and they test an alert signal after the voice. If that's what you're asking. Oh, malfunction. Hello, Cameron. Welcome to the stream. Hey, <laughs> alert. Yep. I'll be at only 50 seconds because it seemed like it malfunctioned. <laughs> yeah, so, like I was saying, when I walked down over there earlier to look at, take a close look at the controller box, I got kind of quelled or spiked by these things. I don't know what they're called, but if I'm some sort of plant. Well, since most of them are on my pants, they aren't really like hurting my legs and stuff, my body that much, so I'll probably wait till after the test to um, take them off. This is in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Specifically off of a road called Lamont Road, I think. It's located near uh, Orange Avenue and Interstate 95. The siren is part of the uh, Port St. Lucie nuclear power system, if you know what I mean. Alright. This time I will not be walking in the grass. Look at the control box. Like I said, it's a. Uh, the newer siren. You can tell how shiny it is. Notice sign. For if you hear the sign going off. I'm gonna keep recording because I forget whether or not they not do I forget whether or not they do a voice test after the alert function, so yeah. I'm gonna keep recording. I'm probably gonna keep recording um for like probably for around, you know. Have to wait at the airport, okay. My tripod's right here. Welcome to the stream. Because the flight has been cancelled and changed for over 10 hours. Oh. Well, good 
look. <laughs> That's all I have to say, at least for now. Yeah, definitely, uh, it's always so much fun when your flight gets canceled and delayed, am I right? <laughs> and the plane needs a new part here. Gotta go. Alright, thanks for joining the stream. Take care. Just waiting to see if something else happens. Did it go yet? Yes, it did go, although it went off for like a few sec so it so it winded up and then it went off for like probably four or five seconds and then just abruptly cut off, no wind down, so and it malfunctioned. And then the voice message it was doing. Um, hello Owen, by the way, welcome to the stream. When I was doing the voice message, the it was very distorted, like you could barely um, you could barely uh, like even tell, like you could hardly understand what the voice message was saying. So yeah. Like I said, I'm just waiting to see if anything else happens. Dead batteries. Yeah. I mean I mean this is a uh this is a uh, newer siren. As you can tell by like how shiny the you know the controller box and the siren head is, but I mean Where is this? This is uh this is in Port St. Lucie, Florida, and this specifically off of uh, this road, I think it's Lamont Road, and it's located near Orange Avenue and Interstate 95. It's part of the Port St. Lucie nuclear siren system. So this siren system is a, kind of reminds me a lot of Marion, Ohio's siren system, and the fact that they have wheel ends and their testing is very screwy. <laughs> WTF, I know, right? Jacob, welcome to the stream. Yes, this is Lucy. Port St. Lucy, Florida. Ooh. I should have that was an echo if that was another siren close by.
I love how they are completely unaware this is what happens when they do voice as this happened for a few years now, yet they keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and from what I've seen, Turkey Point isn't really any, any better. Turkey Point, by the way, is like a little way south of here. It's like more towards the Miami area. I think I might come back here, well, to this siren system for the, well, it's going off again. See what happens next. <laughs> Siren, by the way, has an ESC 2030 controller if you couldn't tell. 560 hertz. Again.
By the way, this Saturday I'm planning to go to uh, a siren test in Oviedo, Florida, which is in like northeastern Orlando to film a Seems the voice message is a little more clear. You see, it's got the hazard hazard lights on. Again. Yeah, this time it was it was like ten seconds. But geez, how long is this freaking test? <laughs> Normally it's voice alert voice. This time it's been voice alert voice alert. Oh voice alert. <laughs> I bet it's going to be doing voice again. I swear I'm going to get a little sunburnt from being out here for so long as I didn't put any sunscreen on. <laughs> All right, I think the test is done now. So, yep, there you guys have it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and look forward to my main video of the siren test on my YouTube channel, Tommy's Aviation and Sirens, later today. All right, catch y'all later. All right, we are live at a Federal Signal 2001-130 in Oviedo, Florida. 
This siren is located at a park. I don't know the name of the park. I couldn't find the name of the park on like Google Maps or anything, but I do know it's located on um, Oak Ridge Reserve Boulevard. Yeah, but I, I have the name of the road in the title of the live stream. This is uh, this is the uh, most southeastern siren out of the ten sirens that are in this town. And this town is in uh, southeastern, I mean, northeastern Orlando. Alrighty, yep, there you have it. Yep, fast whale. Very nice test. It was a bit shorter than I was expecting, but yep, there you have it. Alright, thank you guys all so much for watching this live stream. Hope you enjoyed. Look forward to my main video of this siren up on my aviation siren channel, Tommy's Aviation and Sirens, later today. Alright, we'll catch y'all later. We're here at Rollins College, or Rollins College in Winter Park, Florida. And I got a modulator here, specifically a 2008. So what I'm gonna do is turn on my GoPro and hide it under these bushes. Cause I'm gonna see if the siren is active and if it's tested on the first Saturday of the month at noon along with the other sirens here. All right, let's put this guy right here. All right, now to head off to the Eclipse 8. Well, unfortunately, I could not get a BTS recording of this siren going off because for whatever reason, my phone must have fall, fallen out of my pocket or something and it landed right over there. And I was tr like scrambling to find it before the siren went off, but uh, I wasn't able to before you know, the siren test happened when the siren went off, and so after the siren test, I uh, used, uh, you know, the this tile, uh, this tile thing, you know, the tile app. I have one on this keychain as well as one on my uh, wallet. But I used both of those to uh, locate my phone, and thankfully, I was able to find it. I did hear my phone make the, uh, you know, the sound when you were trying to look for it. But at least I did get... Uh, you know, my main video of the siren with my Canon. That's the most important part. So yeah, sorry that I couldn't get a BTS video of the siren going off, but hopefully next test will make up for it.
possibly. All right, now to head back to Rollins College to retrieve my GoPro. All right, we just made it back to Rollins College. Let's go retrieve the GoPro. There it is. And she's still recording. All right. Set that right there for now. Okay. All right, I have made it back to my college apartment room. And I know, as you can see, it is kind of late in the day, but I haven't gone around to uh, starting the editing process of you know, the siren I went to earlier today until just right now, so. Yeah, without further ado, let's start the editing process. And by the way, this is this is what this is what I decided to do to make up for the lack of a BTS video of the Eclipse State I was at earlier today. So, of course, I had two videos, one from the GoPro at the modulator at Rollins College as well as and then of course the Eclipse State from the uh, Canon. So, I'm going to do the GoPro first. So, I'm going to see if the modulator went off. So, what I'm going to do is take this USB that has a uh, slot for a micro SD card, take this one out, that one's for my dash cam. Use my GoPro, take out the SD micro SD card, and insert it into this one, like that, and plug it in to the computer. There we go. Oh, my computer's not turned up. Let me fix that. There we go. It says there's a problem, but however, I don't. I haven't seen any issues with it, so I'm just gonna continue without scanning. All right. So as you can see, there's three videos, video clips, from while my camera was hidden by the uh, modulator at Rollins College. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the. Uh, this drive, this one has more space. And I'm going to go to the folder Siren BTS. And I'm going to select all three video clips and then copy them to the folder. All right, I'll come back to y'all when this is done. All right, that took a little while, but as you can see, the three video clips have now been. Uh, downloaded slash copied to the folder so I'm now going to delete all these video clips from the uh, SD card of the GoPro to clear out the space might as well check the other folders real quick okay all right so now I'm going to take this out put it back in the GoPro there we go I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, micro SD card for my dash cam back in the uh, USB so it doesn't get lost. There we go. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Shotcut, which is the video, edit video editing software I use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the three clips from the GoPro onto here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and import all three clips. And basically what to look out for is, is for any like, you know, sharp jumps of, like a sharp increase of the waves. And that's how you know the siren's going off. So that's what I'm gonna look for here. Let's see. Oh. Look at that. You see that sharp increase of waves? That more than likely is of the siren going off. So let's take a look. And there you go. Yep, so the modulator did go off. And uh, as you can tell, it has federal signal ultra voice controls. That's what I figured it would have. Uh, single tone. So yeah, 
So I now know where I'm going for next month's test is to that modulator. So yeah, there you go. All right, so that's gonna pretty much conclude this series. I have a couple quick comments to say. Um, uh, this siren was quite loud. I would say it was a touch louder than the 2001, or at least the 130. Um, I felt it uh, vibrate my chest when I was white, when I was. I didn't go right under it because it was like behind a front fence, but you know, when I got to the fence, I felt it vibrate my chest a bit. And then when I and then when I uh, walked further away from it to like where the horn would be, like you know pointing the sounds out the, the where the sound waves travel out of the horns it was quite loud so yeah pretty impressive my first eclipse eight and one and then the other thing is if any of you plan to record this siren um i will i'll, I'll just i'm just gonna say be wary of fire ants because where i set up there were like a few fire ant hills slash colonies and i accidentally disturbed one of them and I ended up getting stung by a couple, and so, essentially, uh, I got kind of paranoid, you know, and stuff. I would get stung by more while I was getting set up, so, you know, when I got set up, you know, I was trying to you know, get set up as soon as I can, and then once I got set up uh, completely, I, you know, walked out of there so that I wouldn't get stung by any more fire ants. So, yeah, both stings were, like, were during... While I was getting set up, I, I didn't get stung any uh, after that, so, yeah. So, yeah, uh, I'll just say that. And plus, I was also only wearing Crocs and no socks, so maybe uh, if you guys are planning to record this, maybe you guys should wear uh, socks and some tennis shoes or even some, like, higher shoes, like boots or something. But, yeah, just be aware if any of y'all are planning to record this. All right, that is all I have. So, thank you guys so much for watching this series. And I will see y'all next month at Rollins College at The Modulator. All right, I'm back at Rollins College, here to record their Modulator 2008 for the monthly siren test on the first Saturday of the month at noon. Of course, you guys saw in the last clip that I hit my GoPro right around over there in those bushes near that parking lot. And of course, we saw that the siren does indeed is indeed active and it does test so yep I'm recording it this is the first generation modulator it has ultra voice control single single tone as you guys saw protection on. It's a little windy out here today. And it could be worse. Okay, it's not going off. It went off last month. I'm at 
well at Wallace College right now, and uh, I'm just wondering, uh, will you guys be uh, testing your outdoor warning sirens today, since it's the first Saturday of the month at noon? Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay, so they'll go off in like a few minutes. Well, as soon as we get the computer. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. Bye. All right. So I just called the police department, and then and they said they're working out a uh, some sort of computer error or computer glitch, computer bug. And then once they get that fixed, they're gonna sound off the sirens. So now I guess we just wait until they get that fixed. All right, I give up. It's 12.30 now at this point. Siren still hasn't gone off, and my camera's battery is starting to get low, as you can see. So, I guess today ended up being a fail, unfortunately. I guess I'll have to come back here in February, because later this month, I'm gonna be heading back up to Ohio. I'll be coming home for a Thanksgiving break, and uh, winter break. I'll be getting some more siren tests from Ohio. Yeah. We'll be getting another siren test in Florida until February. So, guess I'll have to come back here in February. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up to my car and I'm gonna drive it to that parking spot over there. And I'm gonna grab my camera and my tripod, put it in my car, and I'm gonna Take off. All right. Alright, so like I said, today was a fail, unfortunately. Hopefully I'll be able to come back here in February. And whenever I do do that, it'll Window Park will actually test. Alright, well, guess I'll see you guys in the first siren test I go to back up in Ohio.